You're an idiot, but it's not your fault. You were born with a simple monkey brain that only sees thirsty thoughts. But what can you do about your meat vegetable? Well, here are five ways to upgrade your brain. Number one, handling criticism. No matter how successful you are, we're all impacted by criticism. I'll give you an example. I was listening to the Conan O'Brien podcast and he had on Nirvana. Well, most are Nirvana. He didn't wheel out Kurt Cobain's corpse with a shotgun still in hand. Anyway, they were celebrating their 20th anniversary of their hit album, In Utero. At one point, they mentioned a negative review written about them after one of their first concerts. Really think about that for a sec. One of the most successful bands ever to exist has criticism living rent-free in their head for 20 years. So it doesn't matter who you are, negative comments can hurt everyone. Well, everyone except me. You can make watching offending everybody till I laugh and sit there motionless like Kurt Cobain's corpse, but I'd still be like, come on, man. That sugar video was pretty good. Number two, body count is pointless. Smashing women is the ultimate currency to a young male. Nothing screams I'm the alpha like more notches on your belt, right? Wrong. Quantity doesn't mean quality. Which would you rather slay? Ten dragons or one princess? Yeah, I take the dime piece every time. So stop caring about numbers. Just because you're willing to let any busted clown play with your skin flute doesn't make you more of a man. Besides, every guy just lies about their number anyway. We'll Chamberlain claimed to have slept with 20,000 women during his career, which if you crunch the numbers comes out to 1.4 women every day. Which is ridiculous. How often was a circus in town for you to find 0.4 of a woman? If anything, you should value consistency. That's why I love having a girlfriend I can smash on the regs. But that only counts as one. Okay, have fun telling you blue balls that. You know, the biggest issue I have with body count isn't the pissing contest guys play of I've more swag than you. It's when you associate a number with status, you begin to dehumanize women. Because now every chick is just a number, and barely even a person. They don't have their own feelings, thoughts and personality? No. They're basically just a blow-up doll who occasionally gets headaches. Probably from skull f***ing her. Number three, success doesn't equal happiness. Take a look at Dwayne the Cock Johnson. Biggest movie star in the world, massive car collection, gorgeous roided up body. From the outside, it appears he has everything. But we're just assuming. What if he's going through a messy divorce? Or what if his kids are using hard drugs? Or what if she's transitioning to pebbles? The point is, you can't look at someone's success and assume where their head's at. Because all we see is the victories, not the struggles. Sure, being rich gives you more opportunity to be happy, but it doesn't magically create it. Sometimes happiness is a state of mind. Like a few years ago, my grandma passed away from HIV. But even in her final days, she always found a way to remain positive. Almost as positive as her HIV. And after she was gone, I was walking through her place when I stumbled upon a photo album. Inside was a picture of a small African child I named Magumbo. Magumbo had no shoes or socks on and was standing in pure poverty, yet had the biggest smile on his face. You know those infectious smiles that makes you want to smile yourself? And I'm just thinking, wow. This kid has a fraction of what I have and still found a way to be happy. Like he doesn't have indoor AC or a PS5 or a phone he can view African titties on, and yet he still found a way to be joyful. So anytime the world brings you down, I want you to think about Magumbo and pound one out for him. Oh, here's to you, buddy. Number four, men are monsters. We all have horrible thoughts, and just like Drake being attracted to kids, we just can't help it. Like how many times have you thought about committing homicide when someone cuts you off? Not today, bitch. I can't even stand on a subway platform without saying, it'd be so easy. Easy. Now, I'm not saying all guys are terrible people, but we all have terrible thoughts. Like recently, I invited my friend's younger brother to go see Bill Burr at Madison Square Garden, thinking, oh, he's never been to a comedy show before. How nice would it be to take him to see one of the all-time greats? So on the way there, he tells me his parents are tracking his location. And I'm like, really, bro? I've known you and your family for over 10 years, and they still don't trust me? Then I was like, wait, you know what we should do? We should stop at a Hilton and throw your phone in a bush. He's like, why? I'm like, because imagine your parents see that I drove directly from your house to a hotel. <laughs> Have them think the only highway we're driving on is the Hershey Highway. The point is, there's nothing wrong with having terrible thoughts. Just try not to act on them. Number five, admit when you're wrong. One time my friend posted a picture of a disabled girl, and I decided to comment, I'm downs with this picture. Turns out the girl was his sister who recently passed away. I'm like, boy, now I feel like the idiot. So instead of doubling downs, I apologized. Because that is the wrong crowd for that joke. Like, if I mention Pop-Tarts on my channel, I get praised. I guess one man's trash is another man's treasure. However, I haven't always been this wise. When I was 17, my girlfriend broke up with me, and I got so angry. I'm talking taking level of anger here. And the craziest part was my ex did nothing wrong. It was my own fragile ego that couldn't handle the rejection. Which is wild. I literally convinced myself that my own shortcomings were a result of another person. So sometimes we should reflect on our actions and say to ourselves, am I wrong here? But then again, sometimes wrong feels so right. So those are five ways to upgrade your brain. If I missed any, please let me know down in the comments. And just remember, anything can be funny. Well, everything except abortion jokes, which by definition have no delivery.
Wait, I have some big updates. So some of you may have realized my video about racial equality is no longer up. Apparently the corporate overlords didn't see the satire in it. This makes it the third video I've made that's too hot for YouTube. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, <laughs> I feel like that list is gonna grow. But don't worry, because I have good news. You can now see all those videos and more on my brand new Patreon. Oh, look at it. Look at it, beg for money. <laughs> so if you enjoyed all the jokes, advice, and ignorance this channel has provided, then feel free to show your boy some love. Because YouTube has been fisting me hard lately, and I really need to buy some lube. Mm, you know what you want to do? Oh, you want to push that subscribe button. Oh, push the button. Push the button.